Hello and welcome to the Critic Cuculus. Thank you for joining us back on the Empire of Sin. We're continuing our playthrough as Frank Reagan after patch 1.03. Uh, and we are about to hit a safe house. Now, as always coming up to a safe house, clearing out the, the, you know, the front door, the cops come up to me and said, listen, mate, you need to give us 77,000 as a cut. Let's just say I told him to jog on. Anyway, we did clear out the front, and now we are after another boss. Hmm, interesting. Interesting layout. So this is actually the layout where the boss actually engages in combat. Um, it's a bit interesting how the layout seem to determine what the boss does. At least that's how it feels to me anyway. Um, also, this is the layout where... One, two grenades could wipe out the entire team. So hopefully that won't happen. Um, hopefully. Who do we want to take out? Let's have a little pop. Now they get three turns before we get another turn. Um, so they got some good initiative apparently. See, why wouldn't he use his ability then? He is a melee ability boss. He should have used his ability. R should probably be dead right now. Moving in. Okay, so I get to be the doctor now. Um, I guess I should keep my doctor back. The reason I say that is because most of my people are back there, so they're all lifelined to her at the moment. Everyone seems to be going after R, which is fair enough. Okay. Let's do a little gut shot. There we go, both bleeding and poisoned. Yeah. Not out, though. He's got 61 health left, so he's a bit of a tank. I'm on it. Frankie Donovan. Done 58 damage to him. He's down to 31 health, meaning he should actually die on his next turn. Uh, so we turn our attention to Frank Donovan again. Scored ourselves a bit of a crit. We'll go again. One more time. And I believe the boss and the underboss, I don't know if that was the underboss, it appeared to be an underboss at 160 health. That's pretty bloody good, isn't it? Um, is going to be wiped out in just a second. See, no one's throwing explosives, which I think is a little bit weird. That is a time bomb. Right now we can hit pretty much everyone, but let's get this guy right here. I'm on it. Ah, oh, come on! Again, I mean he's fixated on R, but he's just wasting his turns. It's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Moving. Perfect opportunity for him to use his ability, use a, a weapon. I'm assuming he has a weapon. Time bomb went off, killed one, quite badly damaged another, which is good. Got it. 
Nice. Nice little combo going on there. You got on my way. <laughs> Crispa, you silly fucker. Done and dusted. Um Tell me you guys saw that. I just healed Frank Donovan 10 HP. How exactly did that work? Considering I'm the melee guy that I am, um, he was on 20 HP, 21, I believe. Uh, he should have died from that hat. And instead of him taking damage, he just received 10 HP in healing. That's a bit dodgy, in it? I'm sorry, buddy, but it's uh, it's actually your time to die. There we go. Just a silly little bug, that, I think. Can we hit more than one? No. No, we cannot. Well. Go on, then. We really shouldn't do that. They get some really negative status effects. Uh, don't hit your own people if you can help it, especially with explosives. It's not fun for anybody. Who do we want to kill? Can we get to him? Gotcha. I was hoping to do more damage than that. That's kind of annoying. And one more shot. Oh, we got to reload. That's annoying. Okie dokie then. Well, that was bloody easy, wasn't it? Um, that was a lot easier than it should have been. We'll turn it into Buceno. But uh, yeah, that was very, very easy. No casualties. Uh, that was all pretty cushy, really. Donovan's dead. Obviously, he kind of messed up badly in that in that fight. You know, kind of wasted his turns. Um, he even had a gangster, and the gangster wasted his turns as well, which is you know a little bit disappointing. But yeah, nice easy fight that one. Okie dokie. Well, let's have a little look see at who we are going to have to go after next. So. Salts only has a couple of properties. So maybe we'll go after Salts first. Where is the old taxi rank? There it is. Okay. So we do actually have quite a uh, quite a group. What do you want? Yeah. Hey, what is it? What is it? Yeah. You know what? I am going to get rid of Jax. Um, I like him. Absolutely like him. I think he's a really good guy, but. I do think that I'm a little bit overpowered at the moment, so I'm just going to pop him over there for now. Um, go back to these. There we go. And uh, let's go start a war. 
my way. So let's see, we're running with six now. I still think that may be too powerful. I didn't think it would be, honestly. Because we're not running the old primaries, I thought maybe there'd be a little bit of a problem. Um, early game, massive problem. Um, I think... Oh, we're going to have to fight them both at the same time. That could be a problem. If it gets into a whole racket v racket thing, then obviously... Uh, I'll handle that before we get to the next episode so we can actually, you know, get on with it. Um, but okay, let's let's have a go. On my way. Shit! Tell him. There we go. Obviously, I don't mind uh, fighting two at the same time, but what it means is it's their, it's their patrols, it's their own hits um, that's going to get us, um, possibly slow us down. We'll have a look though, see how, see how things go. That's a rarity. Two back-to-back -back hits with no, uh, with no crit on her pistol. Okay. Consider it done. Shit. He's got sixty three health Get left. Down. Um, we've got a few. Let's see if we can damage this guy down here because we're going to need to kill him. Apparently I didn't hit move, I was trying to shoot the square. It could probably be a game show, shoot the square. There we go, uh, end our turn. Honestly, I've got no idea if we've got to kill him in the next go. We'll have a go though. I don't think think there is any point in using a dock right now. Oh, Gibby. Obviously, I'm fully aware that that Overwatch um, isn't going to hit anybody. I'm just trying to end their go as quick as possible. She has a huge range on her, that Doctor. Yeah. The uh, Overwatch that she can see is massive. All right. Uh, the gangster's fine. It's actually the copper. It's the copper that we need to uh, sort out. And done. Hey, it's 800 like now, 802, I believe. Which is pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a close one to whether we're going to make it to 1,000 um, passively. Yeah, probably grind it to 1,000. Actually, do you know what? I saw someone asking that they didn't know how to get... Um, there's an achievement. You have to be basically the most notorious you can be. And you have to um, be a public enemy as well. They're saying that they didn't know if it was possible. Can I have a tip guide on doing it? Um, 
let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys need to know. I mean, I'm assuming most people that are watching this are quite experienced at the game. I didn't really think that that was something that you needed a tip on, really. Um, if you play the game, your notoriety will go up. I think every single kill you get, for instance, your notoriety goes up. Uh, every time you take over a business and knock out a boss, that sort of thing. Um, and of course, you know, being on the cop's bad side isn't that hard because they are bloody everywhere. Um, so just go around and kill a few cops and then you are kushti bushti. Achievement done. To be fair, I think I've only got a couple more bosses that I actually have to complete the game with um, before I get uh, the platinum achievement myself. Um I don't know if this is going to give me an achievement or not for completing it with Frank because the first playthrough I ever done was with Frank, but I'm pretty sure it says I haven't completed it with him. So uh, maybe I didn't finish that playthrough. Oh, weird. I guess we'll find out. All done. Another business taken over. You know what? I'm tempted to sell every single business I bloody have, uh, barring my safe house or, or one street, for instance. If I did that, they couldn't bloody attack me endlessly on loop, could they? That's why I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to patch 1.04. Whenever that does come out, um, you know, having the auto resolve in the game, you know, flushed out version of it, I'd be very excited. I'm very excited. Hmm. I can't hit anyone. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, this is going to be really annoying. This layout, not fun. Not fun for battles because it just draws it out. Unfortunately, these battles are kind of all the same, aren't they? Um... All right. It's just kind of want it done, done. Huh. Nice little return fire. I'm on it. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I think it was one closer that I was trying to get to and uh, accidentally hit that one. Yep, him. I literally run straight past him. There we go. He's done now. And there is one in the doorway. Can we get a shot? Come on. Yes, we can. Nice clear shot for R. And again, another one taken over. Where's the door? Follow the people, follow the people. There's a lot of peoples. Gotcha. And bye bye. Hell yeah, ready to roll. So that is two rackets taken over with a few more to go. Um, one, two, three, and then the safe house. Safe house is right up here. If I win this next safe house battle without um, 
without losing another gangster, I'm going to jack another gangster out of my posse. Go down to five and uh, then take on the final boss with just a group of five. I mean, honestly, these gangsters, they're not the uh, the best gangsters in the game. Um, they really could be upgraded. You know, there is definitely upgrades for the gangsters I've got. So uh, it's kind of funny how easy the last few safe houses have actually been. Um, you know, with, with these basic gangsters. I mean, it, I guess it's all about the, the traits that they've got now. They're able to actually do more damage, uh, which means the fights are shorter. And of course, because the fights are now shorter than perhaps they would have been at the start of the game, um, it means that I'm taking less damage per turn, you know? But I mean, still, with the second weapons, even with the upgraded perks that they all have, I would still say that I'm at a disadvantage to running primary weapons. Um, and to be honest with you, I've got, what, two gangsters that are actually leveled up in traits. You know, um, Patrick being one of them, he's leveled up in melee. His melee is actually working quite efficiently. You know, he's got a couple of good buffs from the weapons. I guess the weapons is where it's at too. Because I've actually got, you know, some decent uh, versions of the secondary and uh, melee weapons, which is really, really handy. The perk, for instance, makes it a little bit shorter. Um, but they're not that leveled up, you know what I mean? Like I said, I've got maybe two leveled up gangsters. R's a brand new gangster, um, so he's got no actual traits on his weapons. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'd understand if my entire crew was like max leveled, you know, each with a hundred kills on their weapons. But the only guy I've got with a hundred kills is uh, is Maroni. Which, by the way, for an early access to R is a great play. I mean, I quite like Guy Maria. I've done that in many playthrough go maria early play what that means is i'm pretty sure you can't have moroni because maria hates him um but getting an early maria means you get a access with anna free um boris is it boris i don't think it's boris it's bruno you get free bruno now bruno is a good early gangster absolute tank of a character There we will go. Another one done. Uh, he wants a truce. We're going to tell him to get lost. Obviously, we do not want a truce. Um, and even if we did want a truce, we'd have to get the boss out to attempt to sit down. And, well, we can't do that. Oh, they're attacking. It's happened then. Uh, three v three. I mean, we we'll have to see how many of those three I actually have um, access to. That was a long load. So it is Salts that's attacking me. Oh, hello. Look what we have here, guys. We have a little gangster just just ready and waiting. Um, problem is, I think I might have stripped her of all of her gear. So, <laughs> you know, just saying. But 
handy placement. Now, there are three of them. Now, something that's been happening recently, which I didn't notice in the last, you know, before this patch, for instance. Um, even if you manage to, de to defeat all of the gangsters, they still seem to have a mystery gangster pop up and actually attack the building. Now, for me, I don't think that should happen. It's happened a few times. I can't say for certain it's happened every time. Um, I think this is a good occasion where we might actually win this. So we'll have a little look-see and see if if that is the case. Sitting ducks out here. We've got a couple of coppers we need to uh, take down. care of as well. Oh, I was hoping he'd stay alive, to be fair, for another shot. Oh, it looked like we got a smack in the mouth there. Moving in. Let's finish these off first. And then we can move up. I don't know if you noticed, but it looks like the AI prioritized the uh, least important like thing on the field as well. You see how they go for the you know my regular guards rather than my gangster that I've got in the fight. Ducks out here. Need cover, quick. So there's still two coppers I need to try and take care of. Get behind but important to note that all the attacking soldiers, uh, they're all done. So they're dead. Meaning there is no one there to actually attack me. Get down. Get down. All right, she had to reload, which was good for us because we're going to have to reload after this round. Oh, the cops might win this. Need cover, quick. Oh, okay. Two misses, maybe not. Sure thing. Whatever you say. I forgot she was a uh, a melee. Need cover, quick. I think she's an in, in, an enforcer. I completely forgot she was an enforcer. Oh, one more hit land and went dead. You chose to move. Crazy. But we did win. We won completely outright. She's in hospital for 33 days, 35 days. Um, but that's done. Now let's have a little look-see. See? Oh, no, they're attacking someone else, maybe. They are. They are indeed. Well, we can't shoot anyone, can we? Kill them. Oh, 
Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Use a shotgun to its actual fillability. Don't forget, guys, if you've enjoyed this playthrough, if you're enjoying the episodes, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it means so, so much. So um, go ahead and hit those buttons. There's also a Facebook page you can follow us on as well. Uh, of course, the link will be in the description for that. There we go. If we can take one more out, I think that would be good. Got him. Got some good damage on both there. God, he's missed both his shots. Meanwhile, shotgun lands. Finally hit shot. Thank you, my friend. But again, we did kill everyone outside, which is cool. That business should, in theory, be safe from being hit. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> no, you're kidding me. So, by the looks of it, I'm not entirely sure what's happened. I think maybe a guard respawned outside um, a racket. That's my guess. Um, but it looks like we only have two of our gangsters as well. So that is a bit random. Notice how both the cops decide not to attack my gangster there. And I went for the uh, the minor target instead. I just think that little improvements like this need to be made to the AI just to make the game more competitive, you know what I mean? Especially on the higher difficulties, you know, I'm not saying touch the lower difficulties at all. But, you know, I think easy mode should be easy mode. But I think there's quite a few different difficulties. Um, and I just think that, you know, really, there should be a real difference between all the modes. We have definitely lost this one. Three against one, and we're armed with uh, the old sawn off. That's not going to go well. Oh, we actually missed a shot point blank like that. I really shouldn't have missed, should it? Got it. Well, unfortunately, guys, we have gone into the whole cycle cycle. Uh, there's not really much we can do about it, unfortunately. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get to Salt's safe house today. Um, because obviously, as you can see, you know, we're defending and we're defending din din dins. Um, so I guess I'm going to end this episode here, guys. 
Um, let me know if you prefer me doing it this way. Um, you know, the way I'm doing it. I'm trying to cut out, I guess, the uh, the loops. You know, rather than... I'm not so much cutting out me taking over the safe houses, but it's the whole takey, 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 takey back years. Um, let me know if, you know, you prefer the, the playthrough, the way it's happening recently. Obviously, we had a comment uh, a few days ago uh, asking for pretty much the same you know this very thing so let me know if it is working for you or not um again guys i really hope you have enjoyed this episode i hope you're enjoying this playthrough um it's been fun i do like um this new patch i really do it's taken a good step in the right in the right direction and i'm looking forward to the next one um so i will see you in the next episode guys uh thank you for coming back and hopefully i'll see you then